the conference is really about pro providing a platform for geospatial uh, analysts and practitioners to see how best to use Earth observation information for development decision making. I think the theme of this conference, uh, Space Science Touches Lives, is a very, very important uh, formation. Why I say so is because for a long time, people have seen us to be talking to, you know, things that are not relevant to Earth. But today, the way the technology has grown, it enables us to go to the village level. The world has become a global village, and therefore, there is need to share experiences at conferences such as this one so that we borrow uh, information from each other and solve some of the solutions, problems that are experienced today. Uh, one person said in the conference that problems are specific to locations and so do the solutions. So what we have here is the first international conference on space science. The theme is uh, Space Science Touches Lives. This conference is being convened at a time when the greater horn of Africa is coming out of a severe drought. The effects of the drought on the region have been widespread and exacerbated by insecurity, cross-border migration, uh, the movement of people and livestock, and competition over scarce resources. I think the conference was a fantastic venue to bring people together that come from different sectors with different requirements. We came to this uh, conference uh, for two reasons. First of all, uh, Aras Maradi is uh, one of the part technical partners who are supporting us to conduct this uh, climate change analysis for these two basins. But number two, we are applying the, 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 the you know, geospatial technology that is, uh, has been the main subject of this conference. It is bridging the gap between the students, the mapping organizations and non-governmental organizations and specifically non-profit making organizations such as OGC and RCMLD. Big conference addressed a lot of different topics, challenges we, we have to deal with and that was reflected in the agenda and the parallel sessions and the breakout groups. So far what I've learned is that this field is really evolving and it has the capabilities of solving real-world problems. I have listened to a wide range of presentations, both in plenary as well as the uh, parallel sessions. And these sessions and talks have covered a wide range of very interesting, intriguing, but very societal relevant topics of, for example, weather, climate, water resources, agriculture, food, and nutrition, land use, land cover change, as well as cross-cutting issues, including food security and law, as well as conflict in the region. It's part of what we do in our day-to-day -day basis as a knowledge uh, management center, where we, uh, we sought to bring together uh, both people generating your information but also policy makers to see how we can further our efforts towards ensuring that this information is actually used to solve real life issues in our member countries. As much as it's the first conference, I think uh, it's something that must be uh, sustained. Uh, I understand it's going to be annually, which is very, very good. And I'm sure that uh, you are planning as RCMRD not just to be hosting it in Nairobi, but also to rotate in the member states. The people we have gathered here include uh, researchers and scientists who are actively involved in developing all sorts of applications that can address the issues we have within our countries. We also have policy makers that are actually supposed to be thinking of how to transform our societies. The key thing here is to make a difference and ensure that decisions can be made that are also sustainable and decisions can be made by people who are responsible for making those decisions. So bringing about this forum makes these connections so that we can be able to ask each other and serve each other better because we are complementary. Nobody can do all those functions from space to the village themselves. It's a chain and communicating through a forum like this helps that function better. The question now is what do people take home with them? How do they report what they learned and what they heard here? 
um, in their respective countries, government agencies or universities. I've learned uh, a lot in GNSSS, specifically in, in navigation systems. This conference has a, a, a huge potential for application in the future and therefore I think it definitely needs to be continued.